Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Inside Movies Galore. I am your host, David Streggy, and today, uh, tonight I have another review for you, uh, which, from time to time, because I'm a collector first, um, uh, and because I'm from Milwaukee, uh, there is a shop that's called uh, Half Price Books, which... Uh, for the most part, you can buy books at half price, and uh, but they sell movies and games and all that jazz. And uh, several years back, I had picked up an oddball indie film, and uh, because I am a fan of indie films, I picked up a film called uh, The Dividing Hour. Now, on the front of this, it says one of Roger Ebert's and uh, the movie's top cult films of all time which uh caught my eye um and uh, it has a quote on here uh from rob roger ebert himself uh it says it sneaks up on you the fangoria magazine also says uh for it well-crafted burst of in in indie energy so that's uh that's what drove me to picking the film up and uh uh so on and so forth. So, um, working under the production company uh, 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 Playground Films and distributed by Indie Films in 2003 is this film called The Dividing Hour, which is directed by Mike Proser, who also stars in the film. Um, basically, a man is dreaming of a boat rowing with a skull, talking about almost cutting himself with the water. Uh, in the very beginning, with a horrible sound to the film, making it somewhat muffled. A group of four friends, Josh, Zach, William, and Dean, are on their way to Seattle to meet up with a girl named Cheryl. Of course, there's always that annoying friend and stoner being Dean. Uh, seems as the rest stop, uh, stop uh, uh, back. Um, always one of them had a taste for a golden arm, uh, which made him fall asleep and turn over their car. Um, along the road, a dude in a truck named Al picked up the boys and took uh, took them to a house up the road to have them use the phone. The house itself looked uh, looks unfinished, but apparently once they get up to the house, a young woman in a dated dress greets them by the name of Dawn. The phone is outdated and dead, so for the short time, they are stuck. Uh, then we learn that Josh and Zachary lost their sister and parents in a car crash. And strange things begin to happen. First, food appears where it wasn't in a fridge. A figure was in the woods, then wasn't. And a man sits and stares in an open stare. Meanwhile, Josh has a dream in the woods that his brother may be dying and is chased by an imaginary enemy. As the film goes on, Dean reminds me a little bit of the Fonz. Uh, you know, Henry Winkler. But more of a douche than class. <laughs> Josh ends up going off to find a telephone and runs into Al again. You know, that trucker that helped pick them up before. Again, in the right place, at the right time. <coughs> I mean, Dean is probably the most rememberable uh, in here, as he's highly talking about the karma of Luna Tunes, but the film is so terribly slow. I'm not sure if it was entirely my cup of tea the first time I watched this, uh, almost several years ago, but there were some defining moments, and it started, uh, it, it is starting to slowly grow on me, just the oddness of it all. I, I mean, all I know is I watched it with my fiance, and she didn't like it. I'm not sure whether to recommend this film at all, but it's the place I think you go to before heaven or hell, the dividing hour. There's a slight twist. A rape and some violence as to why they go where they go but i guess you'll just have to watch it for yourself 
as when they finally get to the creature, it's certainly Lovecraftian with a bit of animation at the end, which kind of surprised me and is kind of what makes me enjoy the film a little bit more is that creature at the end. So the film stars Greg James as Dean, the gimp as the monster, uh, Brad Goodman as Peter, uh, Jillian Hodges as Don, uh, Jay Horenstein as Al, uh, Garrett Poole as the face in the water, Brian Poser as Zach, Michael J. Poser as Josh, and Max Yoakum as Lewis. So if this film sounds like a film that you would definitely go out there and watch, uh, seek the film out for your own self and uh, watch it for yourself and see the weirdness of it all. I was entertained. I just felt like it was slow moving and it isn't for everyone. So in any case, hopefully you've liked my description of this film. Uh, like and subscribe to my page if you have not. And uh, definitely check out some of my other reviews for I have some more cool reviews coming. So in any case, uh, thanks for listening. Have a great day or e evening or morning wherever you are.